everyone in this video i'm going to show you that how we can find amazon s3 buckets on a, a private organization or a, a private or a public bug bounty program so let's get started also if you are new to our channel and if you don't know about our website which is bepractical.tech then i recommend you to check that out we have awesome labs for cyber security as, as well as the development over there so let me show you so here you can practice your cyber security skills and if you are a UI or UX developer then you can also uh, improve your uh, development skills, web development skills basically. So let me show you the labs. So currently I'm going to show you the cyber security labs. So these are currently the account takeover labs and we have currently seven labs over here and all of these labs are totally free and all of these labs are based on real world scenario. So yeah, go check them out and improve your bug bounty skills. Now coming back to the video. Let us see that how we can uh, find Amazon S3 buckets by just an organization name. Also, if you don't know that how we can exploit Amazon S3 buckets to uh, gain sensitive information like read access or write access, or even if you don't know about what S3 bucket is, then I recommend you to check out this video. The link will be given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the uh, video. And now finally, let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to open your Kali Linux machine. So I'm just going to go open it right here and let us wait and also do check the video out in which I've shown you that how we can install Kali Linux without a VMware or VirtualBox. So let's get started. Now here, as you can see, the Kali Linux is up and running. Now what we need to do, we need to install a tool which is known as Lazy S3. So we are going to search for it over here. So I'm just going to type Lazy s3 and sorry s3 and just github and this is the first link that you need to click on and don't worry the link will be given in the description so you can just clone it from there now just copy this link and just type git clone and paste it over here hit enter and now it will clone and depending on your internet connection speed and as you can see it is cloned and now we need to move to this directory and let us see the file and as you, as you can see the file is dot rb which means this file is uh, compiled in ruby ruby is a programming la language so we need to install ruby in our machine and to do this we can just type sudo apt install ruby and minus y specify your root password and as you can see in my case ruby is already installed but in your case it is going to take some time depending on your internet connection speed now finally we have everything set up and now we can use this tool now let us see that how we can use this tool so you need to type ruby and lazy s3 dot rb and now you need to specify the company name for example if i want to find the s3 buckets on a company let's say lysius then i can just type the company name over here and i can just hit enter Okay, so my spelling was wrong, so sorry about it. So it is Ruby, not Rooney. Yeah, hit enter. And as you can see, it has generated this much of word list. And now as you can see, it has found one bucket. So it is just showing me this. So instead of this, the output is not uh, uh, pretty straightforward in this case. So we need to modify the output a little bit, but this uh, is showing the bucket which it which is uh, founded by this particular tool. So how we can use this bucket, how we can access this bucket basically, we can just, let me stop it, and you can just type over here, lysius dot s3 bucket, uh, s3 amazon, s3 dot amazon aws dot com. That's it. Hit enter. And as you can see, we have successfully found this bucket, right? So whatever the output is generated by this particular tool. So suppose that instead of Lysias, it has something like Batman, let's say. So instead of this Lysias over here, lysias.st.amazonaws.com, we'll specify batman.st.aws.com, right? So this is how we can find uh, Amazon S3 buckets. We can even do one more thing, like if you want to uh, get more specific output then you can just edit the file over here so let me show you so you need to go all the way to the bottom i'm not going to explain the code so it is just simply taking the 
word list and is sending request and if the request is 200 or maybe 300 they're just going to print this for print print it's print it for us basically so here it is and now what we're gonna do here we need to type s3 amazon aws.com so let's save this and now if i run this again as you can see the output is output is more specific so we can just directly copy this and this is the response code so this is showing that we got 200 okay which means that this uh, s3 bucket is open and anyone can access it right so i'm just gonna paste it over here okay so yeah so there's a single dot that is missing so we need to modify it once again so let's go all the way to the bottom and just type s3 dot amazon aws.com now it will work let us see as you can see let's copy this let's paste it over here let us wait and perfect as you can see we successfully got the s3 buckets access right so i hope you have understood that how we can find amazon s3 buckets by using this particular tool lazy s3 which is written by nahamzek one of the great bug bounty hunter in the community so yeah do check it out and let me know if you have any doubts or if you have any issues and also do join our telegram channels if you want to be updated with the latest hacking techniques or any technical uh, knowledge or even if you have some doubts so we can discuss it over there so with that being said thanks for watching and have a nice day